how do you get an egg that's long enough to go all the way through a veal ham and egg pie? Look, it's there at the beginning, it's there in the middle, and it's still there going strong at the end. Now, it's a, how... it's a row of eggs down the middle. It's not. It's not. You, look, look, you can't see the join, can you? It's there solid all the way through. Well, and you it's... just cut it across. But if you... No, I didn't. Look, if I hack it anywhere, the egg is still there. Look, if you... Don't believe me, it's still there, still going strong. You can't see the join. It's the same in a Scotch egg, if you can move along a bit there. And th there he is, look. He's there on the beginning, he's still there in the middle, and he's still there at the end. How's it done? How do they get an egg long enough to do that? They have an egg like this. Would you believe? 36 inches long. 36 inches of egg. That's an egg. That is an egg. Or, or, or several eggs, in fact. Cut it well, in half. Let's see. I'll cut it in half and I'll show you. Now, how is that produced, you're wondering? Is it some giant monstrous bird that produces a creature like this. <laughs> in, actual fact, sick bird, <laughs> in actual fact, no, it's man-made and I'll show you how to do it. All you want is an ordinary common or garden household eggs like so, break them in a basin and the technique here is you must separate the yolk from the white. That is absolutely oh, crucial good. in this culinary delight. That is well done, isn't it? Before it, I chance my arm too much, you then get the yolk and pop it in a saucepan like so. In it goes. And you boil it away in there for nine minutes until it's hard, and then you take it out of there and put it in the freezer until it is harder still. And then you are left with lots and lots of tiny little sort of solid yolk balls, really, which crumble up like so. And then you get them all crumbled, and the idea is to get that into a long sort of yolk. Now, that takes a fair old time to do. And, in fact, the manufacturers use a special machine to do that. But what they've got in the end is a sort of core, a yolk core that's like that. It looks just like that. And what happens is they get a cellulose casing or a sort of polythene bag and they pop this yolk core in the bag like so. <laughs> then they get their egg whites, which I had over here. Now, Marion, you can help me here if you would. Just get hold of that. So they then drop the egg white in there as well. Can you do that for me just gently? OK, are we there? That's it, and it's got to go... Ah! It's got to go all down... <laughs> That, is, that goes all down the side, inside there, as you can see. They then seal the top of the bag, like so, and then they cook the whole lot until the egg white becomes white. And the secret is you've got to keep it rotating as you cook it, and they have a special <laughs> machine which keeps it turning around all, all the time. But in fact, you could do that, really, I suppose, holding it in a saucepan if you wanted to. And the end result of all that is this to go inside this, and that's how it's done. That's fantastic. And I thought I was always lucky because I got the thick bit. <laughs> <laughs>